everyone welcome to talent battle today in our group discussion series we will be talking about should there be a limit to media freedom as usual we will be having four points the introduction the role of media why is the limit necessary and the conclusion now first let's go to the introduction democracy in india India is a democratic country. Media is said to be the fourth pillar of democracy, so it is a cornerstone for smooth functioning of a country. The media in India enjoys a great deal of freedom and when it is threatened, the response is vociferous. Now let's see what the constitution says. The constitution of India guarantees freedom of speech and expression to all its citizens under the article 19 which deals with the protection of certain rights regarding the freedom of speech. The clause 1A of the article 19 states that all the citizens shall have the right to freedom of speech and expression. However, the Indian news press enjoys the freedom to engage in the business of disseminating the news to the audience under the right to carry out any profession, occupation, trade, industry or business guaranteed under the article 19.1G. traditional methods of mass media traditionally the propagation medium was limited to print which was then extended to television and now internet is the latest addition india has the second largest newspaper market in the world with daily newspapers reporting a combined circulation of over 240 million copies recent advancements the recent advancement in the technology have made the transmission of news very easy it doesn't take more than a couple of seconds for the news to be all over the television as well as the social media now let's see what is the role of media electronic media the internet based electronic media platforms open new resources for professional journalists and provide a platform for the citizen journalist to report newsworthy events via social media and blogs digital sites are agile and cheap to maintain one good example of this is the locker room scam that was exposed by using instagram reality the media brings to light both good as well as the bad aspects of the governing bodies transparency in the functioning of the governing bodies corporates or any other entity is essential spreading awareness media is the most powerful weapon to expose all the illegal trades that happen within the country even during the pandemic we could see the indian media very active giving us the daily record of the cases as well as exposing the humongous amounts of bills being charged by the hospitals from the covid patients the media has also been the backbone for spreading awareness about the natural calamities such as the amphan cyclone the nisarga cyclone as well as the earthquakes happening in the national capital a platform to put forth views debate and opinions on issues that are of social importance economic and political importance also are conducted on the news channel we also witness the interviews of great personalities which otherwise would have been difficult use of freedom the media makes use of its freedom of speech for exposing huge scams as well as it asks tough questions to the concerned politicians as they are answerable to the larger section of the society Now let's see why the limit is necessary. The concept of freedom. Freedom in any context is never absolute. The freedom of media is essential, but the concerns of rising misinformation, data manipulation and fake news in the current environment are making authorities to place regulations on it to some extent. Bombarding unnecessary information. Media many times plays a crucial role in diverting people's attention from the real issues such as unemployment, public policies, poverty, etc. to unimportant issues such as the personal life of a certain celebrity. We see what they show us. Media houses often tend to polarize people according to their ideologies. Sometimes they present a biased version of news and make people believe the same. Authenticity of data. Within the advent of the internet and influx of the online media sources, the authenticity of the provided information has of course become a major issue. There should be some mechanism in place to contain the widespread of fake news which may destabilize the socio-political environment of the country. Spreading unnecessary hatred. We have been seeing many incidences referring to the unnecessary religious, political and social issues that have been spreading hatred in the society. Using social media platforms like Instagram and Twitter to defame a, an individual for personal grievances is unethical. Now let's go to the conclusion. Freedom as in the constitution. 
Under the Constitution of India, freedom of media is a part of the freedom of speech guaranteed by Article 19.1a. However, it does not promote freedom to misinform the public. Self-regulated media Freedom in media should be regulated or not is a debatable issue. A third thought of school is the self-regulated media. The proponents of this are of the opinion that unregulated media may destabilize the socio-political environment of the country and the government interventions may also jeopardize the freedom of speech or the freedom of expression. So, self-regulated media is a midway between these two extreme methods. Now, why is it necessary? Self-regulation in the broadcast media is the best way forward in achieving a balance between media's duty to empower the participatory role of the people in the governance as well as the reasonable restrictions that prevent the abuse of its immense strength. How do we implement it? It is a conscious decision where the media people themselves take the responsibility of broadcasting true and authentic information to the users. Accordingly, where the media does not shoulder the responsibility of bringing in the truth and goes to extremes or gets biased, it is better to get it regulated, either by self or by legal provisions. Thus, freedom of speech is a group effort and when individuals, organizations and governments come together to preserve it, everyone benefits. Thank you.